blah, 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 blah. Wait, oh my God, you guys were seeing me do that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, anyways, hello everybody, my name is Simone Isaac Berry from Very Silent Cloud, and today we're doing some integral exercises. This is simply equal to the integral of 3x squared dx minus the integral of 2x dx plus the integral of 3 dx. All right, so now we can do this. Notice that this is 3 times the integral of x squared dx minus 2 times the integral of x dx plus the integral of 3 dx. All right, so now how do we do this? Well, we know that we can use the reverse power rule to do uh, this integral of x squared. The reverse power rule says that the integral of x to the n is equal to x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So in this case, we n is 2. So it's going to be x to the 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. So it's x cubed over 3. So we have 3 times x cubed over 3 minus 2 times, we follow the same rule, but remember, there's a hidden 1 tacked on over here. So, if we have a 1 there, then integrating it will give us x to the 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, which gives us x squared over 2, 2 times x squared over 2, plus 3, and this is technically x to the 0. So, doing that same rule over again, x to the 0 plus 1, over 0 plus 1. So that's equal to x. So just 3 times x. And remember, since there was an integral, all we have to do is tack on a plus c. Now, we simply cancel out everything, reduce everything. There's our answer, x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus c. Now, how do we so that this is actually correct. Well, because the integral is called the antiderivative, then we take the derivative and we should get back our original. All right, so taking the derivative, we use the power rule. So we take the three and we put it in front. So we have three x squared and then minus x squared, you take, do the power rule again. And then to do the power rule one more time, but this is going to be x to the 0 times, well, no, it's x to the 1, and then that's going to be 1x to the 0. So this is just going to become 3, then plus c, c is a constant, so constant uh, derivative is 0. All right, so that does gives us what we originally got. All right, now let's do problem number 2. 